Hi, I'm Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to show you how you can use my Looking Glass presets in ACR and Photoshop Creative Cloud. First, let's install the presets. To begin, we're going to go into the Finder menu, and we're going to hit Command-Shift-G. This is going to call up our library. We're going to hit Go. And as you can see here, we have Application Support, then Adobe, then Camera Raw, and then within the Camera Raw folder, there's one called Settings. Now what you're going to do is once you have downloaded and unzipped your folder, you're simply going to click on it. You're going to go to the folder that says ACR and Photoshop CC. And then within these two folders, there's one here that says Toolkit ACR and then uh, Looking Glass Warm ACR or Backlit or Cool, which, whichever pack you have. Simply open them up select all of them and just drag them right on into this settings folder. Now to install the actions that's even easier. All you need to do is double click on them and double click. And now let's uh, pick a photo here that we can just quick demo edit on top of. I'm going to go ahead and pick this image and you can uh, now approach this in Creative Cloud uh, one of two ways. You can simply go here and apply your presets as you would normally in ACR. Just a couple different samples and you could go in here and then go into your toolkit as well and play around or and I'm going to just sort of zero all this out by hitting undo everything. I'm just going to open up this image and we're just going to forget that those ACR presets are installed. It's critical that they're installed, but we're just going to forget that they're installed right now because we're going to pretend that this is just like an action. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through, I'm going to use cool, I think. Um, if you hit balm, or Blue Monday, whatever, it's going to pull up the preset, but it's going to pull it up in Photoshop. So we don't have, you know, folders, etc. It's it's just a flattened file that's going to be on top of this. But it's great in that. Let's say you want to lower the opacity here. You don't the the preset's a little strong for you. You can lower the opacity. You can go into this mask right here with a soft black brush, and let's say you wanted to get rid of some of it, you could. I'm going to just toss that. You can also audition all of them, which is going to allow you to basically compare and contrast all of the different presets very easily at once. Now it's going to take just a little bit of time because this is a pretty complex action. It's calling up all 21 or in uh, the case of Backlight 22 presets and then it's going to put them in your layers folder or in your layers panel for you to basically be able to audition to turn them on or off and see which one you like and from there you can blend um, you can mask out part of them and, and uh, so you can have half of one half of another whatever you want to do so I'm just gonna audition a couple of these there's balm that we already showed you blue Monday blue velvet let's say you wanted to have half of balm uh, we could put in about half, so you've kind of created your own custom preset look, half balm, half blue velvet, or maybe you want to, uh, you like certain aspects of, um, of balm, I'm going to crank that back up to 100, um, you like certain aspects of this, but you also, uh, you know, like certain aspects of that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's say we want... We like the fact that in uh, Blue Velvet, the house is a little bit bluer. Obviously doing this really quick, but there you go. Then what you can do is you can go to your toolkit actions. And again, you can just go ahead and select different combinations. Again, the combinations include um, some clarity, sharpening, uh, reduction of noise, and vignetting. 
Um, if for some reason you didn't want any of those, you can simply just get rid of them. And here it is on the top with that additional combination. So these are pretty easy to use uh, and customize. I think the actions are really fun for a variety of reasons that include comparisons and, and changing the opacity uh, and blending. I hope you enjoy them. Thanks so much for watching.